Hey guys, Aaron at Ironworks today. Welcome back to Heating School. Today we're going to talk about the differences between single pipe steam and two pipe steam. We'll start with single pipe steam. Single pipe steam is significantly older than two pipe steam. It required a lot less technology for it to operate. As you can see by my lovely illustration here, we have a radiator, cast iron, that has a single pipe coming to the radiator. That pipe will carry the steam into the rad and allow the condensate to go back out of the rad. Because the radiator is like a balloon and it's sealed, as the steam comes into the radiator, we need the air to be able to leave the radiator in order for the rad to get hot. That's why on all single pipe steam radiators you will find a air vent. As the steam comes into the rad and fills it up, it disperses the air down and out the vent. Once the steam has reached the vent, the vent has a thermostatic element in it and it will close off and keep the steam trapped within the radiator. As the steam condenses, the condensate will leave via the same pipe and flow back down to the mechanical room where it will get reheated and brought back up again. Because of the multiplication factor when water turns to gas at around 1600 times, the air vent serves two purposes. Once the steam has contracted within that radiator, there is now a vacuum. It needs air to come back into the rad in order for that condensate to flow back to the boiler. It's very important that you maintain your steam vents on a single pipe system, otherwise the radiator will not function properly. You can end up with inconsistent water levels at the boiler, noisy systems, and poor heating. Single pipe steam is by far the noisiest of all the heating systems. Because you have the steam and the condensate within the same pipe and radiator, what is happening is the steam, as it passes the condensate, boils little bits of the condensate, resulting in what most people would call water hammer in the system. The piping on a single pipe steam rad will be significantly larger than a two pipe rad because it has to do double duty. It's got to act as a gravity condensate return as well as the steam supply to the radiator. The other important part about this is to ensure that your valves function properly. Most old radiator valves, the seals have deteriorated in them and if you close that valve off, because the steam is so much denser than the water, the steam will still creep into the radiator. What will happen though is the water cannot leave. It will sit on top of the seat in the radiator in the closed valve because it has a thicker density than the steam. After a few cycles the radiator will actually fill up with water to the level of the air vent. Because the water isn't hot the air vent stays open and you end up with a leak on your floor. So very important valves and vents must be maintained on the single pipe system. When we move over to the two pipe system Functionally, it can be the same radiator. The only difference is now we have a second tapping for a steam trap and we no longer have an air vent. When you see an air vent on a two-pipe steam radiator, that is generally a band-aid. There is a bigger problem in the system and somebody was able to rectify that by just putting a vent on. In the two-pipe radiator, the steam will come in the supply, and it doesn't always have to be at the top. It can be at the bottom, and the steam will rise by itself. But as the steam comes into the radiator and starts filling it up, we end up dispersing the air out the steam trap and down to the vent in the condensate tank. Your system should also have vents in it to disperse the air. Once the steam trap or the steam radiator is full of steam, the trap has a thermostatic element in it, and that trap closes. Once the trap closes, the steam is then trapped within the radiator until it condenses. When it condenses, it has let go of all its energy. Now the trap senses the temperature change because this is no longer steam here, it's water, and the thermostatic element opens and allows the condensate back down to the boiler, whereupon it will get reheated and brought back to the radiator. The system is significantly more efficient than single pipe steam because you do not have steam and condensate passing each other in the same pipe. Therefore the condensate isn't cooling the steam and condensing it back to water as it's coming to the rad. You can get a drier, more efficient steam into your radiator. 